So in this section, we're going to publish our runtime devices to their respective computers from our project and look at our collaboration in runtime. But first, I'd just like to point out in the help system, if you go to visualizing process under RT Unified and configuring remote access, this is the section of help that goes over pretty much everything that we've talked about, how to set up Unified collaboration using web clients, using comfort panels, and there are some uh, requirements or some restrictions on some functionality that is not supported. Now, the need for use of a time standard between both of your computers so that your time is synchronized and some specifics on scripting interfaces and things like that. And it does go through creating and distributing your certificates and what to do if you need to go change the names of your collaboration PCs and things like that. So if you are going to be deploying RT collaboration, I definitely recommend you go through and read through all these steps and recommendations and things like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to go to each RT device and publish it. And since this is my Bob's Dev runtime, I'll put in my computer name that I want to publish to and connect to that computer and then just hit load. And I'm going to select a full download and to start runtime when it's done and just load it into runtime. And then I'll do the same thing to my 2019 eval computer. I will download everything. This is my PC called 29 eval that we did a RDP session with. Hit connect. It can connect, so we'll just load it as well. And we'll choose the same settings here that we did on our server computer. And they're both loaded. So now I will open a browser. And first I will open my local on Bob's Dev SB2. And put in my username. And you can see we have the lock icon here. And so if I go to my 2019 eval process, you can see that we do see that page and it is looking at 2019 eval. That's the at server name tag. And we can also open up our 2019 eval runtime from here. Now notice that there is a certificate authority thing here. It says download and install certificate. And so if you're on say a mobile device or another computer and you're accessing the runtime on this and you don't have the certificate, you can download this and install it so that you have access to it. So I will go to unified runtime and we'll log in. So notice it's looking at its own process page. We're on 2019 eval and I can change my picture window and show my detail screen from Bob's Dev here. So pretty simple to show screens from one RT device on another RT device using runtime collaboration. So in the example that we did in this section, both runtime devices were in the same project. Are you able to do RT collaboration for two different projects? And the answer is yes, and the procedure is almost exactly the same, except you export and import your screen references. So I'll go and open a project for a different computer. And in this project, you can see that the runtime system is on a different computer. And under our collaboration, we have a computer named 2016 Server Clean. So if we go to our collaboration data, you can see that we're sharing our screens and we would just export this as 2016 screens. And then we'll go open our collaboration project. And then under common data, collaboration devices, we would import that file. And this imports the references to those screens. And then we could go to our main navigation. And configure a button to show screens from that computer. So we'd look under common data under collaboration and we would see the screen reference there for main. 
and then you can see it gives the server prefix. So once we published all of these applications, we would be able to see screens from even a separate project that's, of course, on the same network. Okay, so now for your last assignment for this chapter on runtime collaboration, I want you to open your Unified Collaboration project, and if you haven't already done so, publish each runtime device project to their respective PC targets, and then open each runtime project in a browser and ensure that you can see and operate your collaboration screens from the other RT project. I want you to also click the lock icon and the address bar so that you can view and get familiar with your certificate details.